So welcome to Kate's Sir Biology. Today we are going to discuss about the Animal Kingdom shortcuts. In Animal Kingdom, the first phylum is a Porifera. So phylum Porifera and their examples we can discuss with the help of the simple statements. Senior Section Engineer. See here, the S yes stands for Cycon, S yes stands for Spongilla. So here, E, stand, e, e stands for U Spongilla. And their common names also we can discuss with the help of a simple statement that is a small finance banking. Small Finance Banking Here Yes stands for Sky Farm And F stands for Freshwater Freshwater Sponge And the B stands for <coughs> Bath Sponge The second phylum is a cylindrata. It is also called a nidaria. The examples of nidaria or cylindrata we can discuss with the help of this simple statement that is a post graduation in MA polity. Post graduation. Post graduation in MA polity or political science. See here. G stands for Gorgonia. So M stands for Mindrina. A stands for Adamsia. And P stands for Penetra. So these are the examples of cylindrata. So now we will discuss their common examples. See, Physeria, Portuguese man of war, Gargonia, Sea Fan, Mindria, Brain, Mindrina, sorry, Mindrina. So Mindrina, Brain Coral, Adamsia, Sea Animal, And the pendant law, Sita. These are the common names of phylum cylindrata or nidaria. Yes. The third phylum is Tinophora. So, this Tinophora phylum and their examples we can discuss with the help of the single statement that is a cash processing center. Cash processing center. Here C stands for Dinophora and here P stands for Pleurobranchia. Pleurobranchia and again C stands for Tinoplana. These are the examples of phylum Tinophora. The next one is Lighting Elementis. Platinum element is transcription, translation, feedback loop. So here T stands for Tinia. Its common name is Tapeworm. And uh, here F stands for Fasciola. Its common name is uh, Liver Fluke. So this is about uh, platinum element. This and the uh, examples and the common names. So the next phylum is uh, Ask Elementis or Ask the Elementis or Nematic Elementis. So we can remember the examples of Ask the Elementis with the help of simple statement. Uh, normally we used to use that as well as as well as. 
Sir, how we can remember by using this simple statement as well as Ascaris Ucharelia and Cyclostoma See here Ascaris is also called Rondoam Ucharelia also called Filarial Worm Filarial Worm and Ancyclostoma is also called Hookworm So, ask the element this So, by using simple statement as well as we can remember the examples of this one So, Ascaris, Ucharelia, Ancyclostoma Ascaris, common name is Roundworm Ucharelia common name is filarial worm and uh, Ancyclostoma common name is hookworm. This is about the uh, ascii like this. The next phylum is uh, Anilida. By using simple statement we can remember this Anilida. See here, our normal pressure hydrocephalus. N stands for Neris. P stands for Ferritima. So, Iridin area. So, here Feritima postma. It is the scientific name of Arthwa. So, the common name of the Feritima is Arthwa. Arthwa. Iridin area. The common name is Leech. It is a blood sucking parasite. blood sucking parasite so this is about phylum anilida and their examples see arthropods we can discuss with the help of the simple statement that is a activity based learning a stands for apis base b stands for bombax And L here. L stands for Lassifer. Right. So their common names Epis, Anibi, Bombax, Silkworm, Lassifer, Black Insect. So this, these are the economically important insects of phylum Arthropoda. Second one is Vectars. So Vectars example we can discuss with the help of a simple statement that is Assistant Chartered Accountant. Sorry, Associate. Associate. Chartered Accountant Accountant Associate Chartered Accountant Here A stands for Anopolis So, C stands for Culex. Again, A stands for Anopheles, Culex, Edis. Edis. So, these are all mosquitoes, and these mosquitoes act as a vector for the great, great lake, Lacrosse. League. So, gregarious pest, it is also called locusta, limbless, 
limbless it is also called limbless living fossil living fossil so great lake lacrosse lake so with the help of this statement we can remember the remaining examples of arthropoda gregarious pest common name is locusta and limbless it is also called living fossil so this is about phylum arthropoda so the next phylum is a second largest phylum that is a mollusca in animal kingdom the examples of mollusca and examples of the mollusca we can remember with the help of the two statements already we know uh, another name of the mycoplasma is a ppo pleuronemonia like organism if you remember pleuronemonia like organisms and the second one is a south african development community with the help of these two statements we can remember the examples of mollusca see here pleo p stands for pila it is the example a uh, common name of the pila is uh, apple snake again p stands for pentoda common name is uh, earl oyster and uh, l stands for loligo common name is uh, squid o stands for octopus we know that octopus is also called devil fish now the second statement of uh, south african development community here S yes stands for Sapia. The common name is cuttlefish. A yes stands for Aplysia. The common name is sea hare. D stands for Dentalia. The common name is tusk shell. Right? And uh, C stands for Tinoflura. Ketoflura. Ketoflura. The common name is Chaita. So these are the examples of phylum. Mollusca and their common names. So, Echinodermata. Why they named it as Echinodermata? In Greek, Echinus means spines. Dermis is nothing but a skin. On their skin, spines are present because of that reason. The organism who comes under this phylum, they are all having spines on their skin because of that reason only they are calling as a Echinodermata. So, the examples of the Echinodermata we can remember with the help of the simple statement that is a American Airlines Chief Executive Officer. Here, A stands for Asterios, and uh, again A stands for Antida, C stands for Cucumeria, E stands for Echinus, O stands for Ophira. See, the common name for common name of the Asterios is a starfish, and Antida, C lily. Cucumeria, sea cucumber, Echinus, sea urchin, Ophira, brittle star. So these are the examples and their common names of Echino that matter. Echino that matter. The next phylum is a Hemichordata. Hemichordata. So the phylum Hemichordata examples we can remember with the help of the simple statement already we know that it is hepatitis B surface antigen. Hepatitis B surface antigen. B surface antigen. Yes. Here. H stands for hemicordata, B stands for balanoglossus, and S stands for sacoglossus. So, hemicordata, the hemicordata examples we can discuss with the help of the simple statement that is hepatitis B surface antigen. So here H stands for hemichordata, B stands for balanoglossus, and uh, S stands for sacoglossus. So these are the invertebrate phyla and their examples. I hope you are clear.